Hello everyone, I hope everyone is having a great Christmas. As you can see, uh, well, I decided to make a stream today. So, well, it's it's my first time, <laughs> uh, so I'm a bit nervous, but well, let's, let's make it happen. Uh, so, for today's stream, I decided to take a ride in Train Driver. We're going to be playing multiplayer. I'm going to take a um, passenger train and let's see what the game has to offer for today. Right, so, uh, as you can see, I'm already in the game. Let's jump into multiplayer mode. I've prepared a nice little train. We're going to take nine wagons with us. Uh, three sec uh, well, three first class wagons, one, um, one uh, what is that, uh, like a restaurant wagon, and five second class wagons. Everything will be pulled by EU-07 locomotive uh, with number 418. So, well, I can feel that it's going to be a good time. Right, let me just copy our analysis. Okay, and let's find a good station. Hmm. Perhaps let's jump into this one. There we go. It's starting. Okay. And here we are. Right. Let's say hello and let's give analysis to, uh, to the dispatcher. Oh my goodness. There we go. Uh, I don't need to give that. Okay. Right. Uh, what did I just done? I turned something off. 
Hmm. Okay, we got pantographs. Let's see. Okay, I turned something off. go there we go it is working now <laughs> all right let's set up our cabin I think that's gonna be a good view fantastic right so, uh, get left light on. Let's turn it. Let's turn right one. Okay. Let's turn some lights inside. Let's lit up clocks. Fantastic. Okay. Looks like we are ready. Now we just need to get timetable from the dispatcher. And we can get this bad boy moving. Okay, before that happens, let's set all their cameras. Beautiful. Oh, no dear. There we go. Nice view of our train. Let's save it. Now we can jump off and have a look around. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh wow. I think we are blocking this junction. We surely are blocking this junction. I guess we will have to wait a little bit longer for our timetable. It's not gonna be too exciting. Let's have a quick walk around the sidings. Hopefully nobody will enter this one. I have to admit that sceneries look really, really nice in this game. Too bad that there is no winter scenery. It would perfectly fit to today's stream.
Twarzę czewo. Still no timetable. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's taking longer than I expected. Oh wow, I think this guy has some problems. Oh, there we go, we got our timetable. Let's have a look into the locomotive. Still no signal. Oh my goodness me, we're gonna be waiting for for our signal for quite a while. Oh. <laughs> Hello. I'm doing good. Uh, far the Steitler. Uh, I, I, I'm terrible at... I'm terrible at uh, reading German names, but hello, 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 Max Daplash. <laughs> oh wow, there's so many people watching this stream. I'm surprised. How are you guys doing today? Oh, it's dispatcher in German. Good to know. <laughs> Hello, heartwarming fox. Oh wow, so many people. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't expect that uh, for, for my first stream. Wow, wow. Ben Shemus. Wow, wow. Hmm. Streamlamp seems to be deleting some of my messages. Right, I, I hope everything will work, um, sadly. Ooh. Uh, I don't think I got a uh, notification for gift cards on stream labs. Uh, I just set basic notifications. Not everything might work just yet, uh, but I'll try to fix it. Uh, definitely Streamlabs is, is making a jokes out of me. Um, there is quite a few messages that it moderated, uh, but I'll get it fixed <laughs> for the next time, I guess. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What is that? Why? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Hmm. Maybe there is some sort of uh, problems with visa. Right, we are still waiting for the signal, unfortunately. It's not gonna be the most exciting part of the stream, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but I guess that's uh, that's the life of uh, of engineer in, in Train Driver 2. Very often we will be just watching the signal. Yeah, exactly. Signal wait sim 2020. Oh well, this is what it is. I got timetable that starts at 
20 past 7 so it's it's gonna be a while before we will be able to to even move everything is ready uh, let's oh. Oh, 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 I was in the wrong window. Okay, now it's... <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. Well, I wish I could live right next to the trucks. Uh, I could set up a camera and, for example, live stream out of what's happening on the rails. Unfortunately, uh, I live in very silent street. Which, which is both fortunate and unfortunate. At least I can stream in peace. Right, let's have a look around the station. I just hope that dispatcher won't change the signal while I'm away. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely different to flight sim. Uh, speaking of flight sim, I, I might eventually give it a go one day. Mm, I'm still waiting for graphics card to, to arrive, which will probably happen in February, if I'm lucky. Uh, those, those are pretty hard to get right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, if I get one, I will definitely do some videos or, or streams from Flight Sim. I, I got it installed, I got everything configured, but it runs pretty terribly right now. Oh, some new train spawned. It's nowhere next. No, it's nowhere near my train, unfortunately. It's probably on the other side of the station. Oh dear, still 18 minutes before my departure. It's gonna take a while. Oh my, so wait, do you have to load passengers in in uh, flight sim right now? How does it work? Oh, P3D. Okay, that sounds interesting. So is that a mod for uh, for Flight Sim? Is that uh, for Flight Sim 2020? Nice. Have a walk into the town. Oh, I'm clipping through the fence. <laughs> oh my. Oh, there we go. That's that's the exit. Ooh. Guys, please don't use um, fully capped messages. Oh my goodness me. Why Streamlabs deleted those messages? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I think... I got... Yeah, I got a signal. I can get into the station. All right, so let's pull into the platform and let's start loading the passengers. Yeah, I, I definitely need to tune uh, Streamlabs. 
it deleted a couple of messages for some reason. Uh, well, unfortunately I don't have the full list of my subscribers. But it's good to know, it's good to know. Okay, I think we can speed up a little bit. There we go, that's much better. I'm not sure how how expensive is uh, train simulator for um, for PS4. I I don't don't own any console myself. Uh, but if if it has similar price to to PC, it should be around 20 25 pounds. I think it wasn't that expensive. At least the the new. Uh, train sim world, uh, which which was sold pretty cheap, if I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, train sim world two was was very cheap, uh, but mostly because it's it's not the well made game. To be fair. Um, there are a few things that, that could be done better, definitely. Uh, well, I think it's going to be around 30, 35 US dollars. I'm not sure what's, uh, what's the exchange rate right now, but British pound sterling was somewhere around one dollar. Uh, like well, it's not exactly one to one. I think the dollar was a little bit cheaper. Oop. Right, it's time to initiate some braking. Come on, let's stop. There we go. We are finally stopped at the platform, so let's turn on all the lights. Still got a couple of minutes before departure. I think there's. I think I got both pantographs up. Yeah, both of them are up. Let me set up the brakes. I almost forgot about it. Oop. Yeah. All right. We got a fast train. I think that's it. I think that is it. Right. Let's release the brakes. Very good. Okay, okay, so that's the exchange rate. Okay, so as I got a minute to spare, I think I'll be right back with you guys.
Alright, I'm back again. Uh, we are still waiting for our departure. It's gonna happen in about 10 minutes. Uh, let's have a look around the station. Yeah, again. I need to I need to remember to keep my mouse cursor on the game screen instead of on my OBS. Otherwise I will just switch things in OBS. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh wow. Three people are viewing. That's more than I expected to be fair. <laughs> right, so our train is now loading. Unfortunately you can't open the doors or you can't see people actually boarding the train. But maybe, maybe it's gonna get better later on maybe the game gets some updates in the future that that will actually simulate that in some trains you can open the doors uh, for example if you write en57 uh, you are able to to open the doors hmm? oh. there is some train coming i'm not sure where it is but i definitely heard it that hello oh my goodness me right I, I really need to fix stream loves why <laughs> oh dear oh dear yeah I will have to I will have to adjust it in fact I might try and do it right now let me see Let me see if I can fix it. Uh, it's really getting bad. Uh, where is that? No, that, that's not what I wanted. Hmm. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Where was it? That's definitely not what I wanted. No, no. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, there we go. Uh, caps protection. Right, let's, let's just turn it off for now yeah uh, I think it's gonna help us a little bit okay right hopefully it's gonna fix it now and Streamlabs won't uh, delete your messages uh, after you just say hello or something I really need to adjust it uh, the other day uh, to read how how it works exactly because I just quickly configured it uh, this morning and hopefully nothing else like that will happen. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Still five minutes to wait and we will be able to get on the trail guessing it's gonna get a little bit more exciting then well uh, I went through the training for a dispatcher like last week uh, but I haven't tried it yet um, definitely I'm not planning to, to try it on on PL1 server uh, because people can get really really nasty in here and without any experience I, I wouldn't like to just jump in and and get uh, like banned or or get some complaints against me uh, so if if there's gonna be more people playing on on 
PL2 server, I might jump in and, and join the session as a dispatcher. Uh, it, it would be actually pretty fun. I might even stream that. Who knows? Oh, nice. Uh, we might try to organize a session the other day. Uh, obviously not today, uh, because the plan for today's session is to drive a train instead of organize traffic around the station. But yeah, we, we can give it a shot. I'm, I'm totally down for it. Okay, it's almost time. Quarter past seven. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we won't have any too long stops. Well, there is nothing planned to be fair. Uh, we will pretty much fly through every single scenery unless there is any sort of traffic jam. So not the most exciting passenger run ever. But when we finish, we might get another timetable. Perhaps I will swap a train as well. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing from the... Ch well, from the chat, I'm guessing that uh, there are no good timetables today. Uh, when I joined in the session, there was around 40... 40 drivers and, and about 30 stations on, so uh, so it's really busy day. Two more minutes until departure. Hopefully everything will happen on time. The problem is that I also have technical stop planned on, on this scenery. So I hope that dispatcher won't hold me off until half past seven. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That timetable is really terrible, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Okay, we should be able to depart in just a few seconds. Well, I haven't tried to... Um generate any any timetables for uh, well using SWR yet uh, but yeah this is indeed a problem I'm, I'm getting a lot of timetables with technical stops instead of passenger stops or commercial stops um, this is really bad uh, but whenever this patcher creates a manual timetable wow uh, sometimes they are really fantastic but obviously uh, not every dispatcher will know every single scenery, uh, travel times, and 
well, perhaps uh, they've hidden that in in different type of a train. Uh, maybe maybe dispatchers should be uh, using like a different settings. I've seen there is quite a lot of uh, types of train that uh, that you can set up. So maybe it's it's just a bug. I'm not sure about it. Uh, perhaps you should uh, like mention it on the forum. Right. Anyway. Uh, we can now depart, so let's get going, finally! Okay, uh, Pantograph can go down. There we go, fantastic! And finally, we got something more exciting happening. Uh, the next speed limit will be 40 km per hour, so there is no need to rush. Very good. Not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous driving and, and like dividing my attention between between driving and and reading chat. Oh, it's not a bug. Well, uh, that is indeed a problem. But on the other hand, can you generate a timetable and then edit it in manual mode to actually add those uh, commercial stops or replace uh, technical stops with commercial stops? Wouldn't that be uh, a solution to the problem? For now, we can fly through this scenery, which is good. I never tried to uh, to make my own map. Uh, perhaps I will give it a shot the other day, but it's it's pretty complicated. Okay, he gave a plus to to the dispatcher. I've seen a sign. Yes, there we go. Okay, neutral zone passed, now we can speed up again. Right, so now let's focus on, on driving this bad boy. I can now go 120 km per hour.
Hmm. I don't think shunt control is working correctly. I'm not speeding up. There is some sort of malfunction. Try it again. Yeah, shunt control doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Question is why could that be? That's no good. That is not good. Hmm. Everything seems to be set up correctly inside the cabin. Yeah, but shunt doesn't work. So I guess my speed will be now limited to around 88, 90 kilometers per hour. Well, if I somehow manage to damage my engine, then let's continue with damaged engine. Unfortunately, that's all I can do. Uh, I know I can turn off um, like a uh, locomotive failures in the settings, but I would like to keep it on. I've been so busy looking at at my controls that I missed a sign. Uh, yes, I do understand Polish. In fact, uh, I do speak Polish quite well. Okay, that was Pravila's Vies. Let's say hello. Oh my goodness me. Alright, we will have a new speed limit. Not not that I'm able to, to reach it. This shunt control has failed. Why did it fail? I must have done something terribly bad. Oh well. Right, let, let's focus on driving. Neutral zone. There we go. Yeah, it still doesn't work. Right. Let's let it go, let's start braking. Ooh. Okay, I can already see that red signal. Oh, 
Okay, we can keep on moving. That's good, that's good. So it's gonna be the next one that's red. Oh wow, there's already nine people watching. Wow, it's going up pretty fast. <laughs> Hello everyone. Oh, there are some people running on the trucks. Okay, 750 meters onto stop signal. I think I can already see it in the distance. Let's start slowing down. Okay, let's pull up until the signal. I'm guessing I'm gonna stay here for a while. Let's drive very slowly and hopefully we can carry on before I reach the signal. Oh, there we go. I got green light so we can get on the road. There we go. Hmm. I wonder if that's gonna help. Shunt still doesn't work. Hmm. This is pretty bad. Oh well, uh, I'm gonna have some delay. <laughs> no doubt about it. Without Shunt we will be very very sluggish. Oh yeah, uh, I I don't really have any issues playing on uh, on PL1 server. Oops. Wrong button. like I have some engine problems. Right now I can't even go past 60 kilometers per hour. Well, 70 in fact. 
This is really bad. This is really bad. Another red signal. Oh, there we go. Oh wow, there is so many crossings in here. Come on locomotive, don't die on me. It really got very sluggish. I know that I got a bit longer consoles than I usually take when it comes to passenger runs. This, this consist is very, very sluggish. And on top of that, that broken shunt control is not helping. Okay, we are now speeding up nicely. Still doesn't work. Well, it won't fix itself, I guess. Oh, right. Almost forgot. Let's give a thumbs up to, to this guy. Alright, so I guess we will have to continue until Vola and then change our consoles because this one is already messed up. As long as I can carry on we can make it it won't be the fastest run though no. okay and the next scenery is loading loading screen I need to drive a little bit more in this game so that the sceneries will start to load before I reach the end of the previous one there we go new scenery loaded uh, right now we should be oh that's the last scenery that I have to visit anyway Oh, there we go. Come on, there we go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I've sent a message before I actually joined the server. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's not the most successful run I did, uh, but thankfully we should now be approaching Borove, if I'm correct. So very soon we will be able to 
finish this one and change our consist. down a bit is all right right on time we managed to slow down right on time okay so I'm guessing yeah we're gonna change the truck Up on this one. channel 4 not that I can change radio channels in here no a neutral zone there we go oh okay I must have missed the signs Right, let's get there. We're almost done with this sign table. Unfortunately, it, it is going to take some time before we reach our destination. According to timetable, we should be there in about 14 minutes. I think we, we can make it sooner, unless there is going to be any red signal. We skipped a uh, technical stop at Pazhenchevo, so there is a high chance we're going to make it on time, even without shunt control. I think we are approaching the end of this scenery. Uh, it's just a uh, fly through scenery without any stations, at least not on our route. So let's give the guy a thumbs up. Let's let him know about it. Uh, and now 
now we need to get to Vola uh, finish our finish our timetable and then I think I will swap to EN57 I think that might give us a little bit more exciting routes hopefully I have to admit, uh, for such, well, for so many players that uh, that the game reported that um, that are actually driving, my route seems to be quite empty. I I don't think I've seen a single train so far. So this is a little bit bad. Not the most exciting. Route. I think we passed only one train, is it? Yeah. There was something in Pravelas, if I remember correctly. Almost at the speed limit. <laughs> I'm actually surprised we managed to hit. Uh... Oh, hello, Damadog. Merry Christmas to you too. How are you doing? Oh, okay. New scenery is loading. I know the pain. Uh, I pretty much finished work yesterday morning, and I was absolutely uh, yeah. I was so tired. I basically missed entire Christmas Eve. So it's pretty much today since I started to, to actually live my life. I guess. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I'm I'm off until 27th. So, but yeah, it's working on over Christmas is pretty bad. Okay, let's say hello to new dispatcher. Right, thank thankfully my speed limit for, for this scenery is 100 km per hour, which I can achieve without shunt control. So I should be arriving at Vola ahead of time, which is good. Oh, that's nice. What did you get? Come on, share it. What kind of presents you got? Okay, I guess, yeah, we will have to receive um, S1, oh, yeah. Ok, 
Okay, let's pull to the signal. That red signal. Oh, okay. It's a form signal. Almost missed it. <laughs> okay. Right, I, I guess uh, that was a very short version of that uh, written order S. Uh, if I remember correctly, it should be a little bit more, well, advanced, but I'm not gonna complain about it. Right, I, I hope the route is set. Uh, I think my speed limit is now 40 if I'm, if I'm correct. Uh, mostly because it was, well, by written order, okay. Yeah, take care, Dama. Have a nice and safe day at work. I guess that's that's the best I can wish you for uh, for such occasion. And have a Merry Christmas. At least my route is set correctly. Right, the station should be just up ahead. There is no need to rush. I'm still ahead of time, so that's perfectly fine. Surely not a platform. Is it? Oh, there it is. I think that's the right one. Yeah, that's the right one. Red signal is just up ahead, right behind that crossing. A little bit too soon. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna receive any any new timetable from this dispatcher. He's about to leave. Uh, but well, it was still quite nice, right? Uh, too bad uh, my locomotive got damaged and I couldn't use the full power out of it. Uh, but uh, what I'm gonna do? Uh, let me first say goodbye to this dispatcher
Alright, so that's gonna be it of this run. Let's just leave. Alright, so I think I'm gonna take a very short break and after after the break we're gonna take some uh, some other train and hop into to another station. So stay tuned and until I'm back, enjoy some chilling Christmas music.
All right, so I'm back. Uh, thank you for waiting, whoever waited. <laughs> right, uh, I can see on the chat SM42. Okay. Um, I was planning to take EN57. However, uh, if you guys want me to, to take SM42, that can be done, I think. Uh, so let's make a quick vote. Uh, there is five people watching. So... Whoever wants SM42, just write it on the chat right now. Come on, don't be shy. Anyone? Okay, so we got one vote. Well, I guess nobody is against it. So yeah, let's take SM42. Right, so in that case, I will have to build a consist, do I? Oh, let me just delete that. And let's pick some nice livery. SM42, hmm. Right, which one should I pick? Should we go for passenger service or perhaps something short when it comes to freight trains? Hmm. That's a good question. I think I might take this livery. Very classic one. Right, but definitely that's going to be too much for this locomotive, or at least I wouldn't take that many wagons. Right, so what should we take? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe three of these would be good. I think those, yeah, those wagons will have two floors if I rem remember correctly. That's going to be interesting. 95 meters, 201 tons, which is manageable for SM42. I think it can pull around two and a half tons. So that should be very easy. Right, so let's name it SM42. Uh, that's going to be 95 meters, 201 tons. 
and the top speed and the top speed was I think 90 kilometers per hour okay and that's gonna be passenger service uh, passenger there we go so our analysis is ready let's copy it and let's save it in Poland you call it Stonka yes I know it is called Stonka it's a pretty cute name to be fair <laughs> Right, uh, where should we get to? Uh, perhaps... Um, let's go to Chermin. It was really nice station. Okay, so let's hop in. And hopefully this, uh, this service will be much more exciting than the previous one. I'm hoping for a nice and long timetable. We'll with lots of stops. Okay, so let's get started. Analysis first. Oh, come on. I turned something off. Right. Uh, I will have to restart the engine. Right, okay, so how do I start the engine? I need fuel pump and Ooh. right, how do I turn it back on? Okay, I think it's working again. Let's see if I... If I got everything turned on. I will definitely need to turn this on. There we go. Don't need that. Oh, we got our timetable already. Which is good. Okay, I think that that's not needed. New timetable. We are starting in 10 minutes. Oh, oil pump. There we go. Thank you very much. Right, I think I got everything turned on. <laughs> that was a fail. Every time I try to type something on the chat, I forget to actually switch to it. And then I, I mess something up in my locomotive. Right, uh, I need a right uh, light at the front. Let's see, do we have... Come to me, uh, in which direction? Right, let's see if I got... Okay. Okay, now get on moving. Right. The biggest problem with this locomotive is that this window doesn't provide too much or too good vision. But I can always look through the window, which is much, much better. Okay. Okay. We got nice speed. Let's let it coast right now. All right. <laughs> I 
Well, sadly, this game is not on Steam. Uh, however, you can download it for free from, from the game website. The link is in the description down below this uh, stream. Oh. Um, so it's not a big deal. Uh, the fact that game is not on Steam doesn't change much. Uh, all you are... Oh, okay. I didn't know about that. Uh, I'll, I'll try these controls when I get into the station. Thank you very much, Ruragura. Right, let's let's focus on signals and signs. I hope I won't miss anything. Okay, I got another clear signal. Yeah, that, that's the problem with looking through the window. I don't really see the alerter. Unless I... I move the camera a little bit. Right. Mechanic 2017. I might give it a shot the other day. I don't have this game, but it's, it sounds interesting. I think I've seen it on Steam the other day, but never, never actually decided to to buy it. Right. This is a long station, my goodness me. Right, I can see the platforms already. Right. Oh, alerter, there we go. Right on time. Right, so that was shift. Oh, okay, that's much better. I think I'm gonna lock the camera on, on this screen. <laughs> that's good, it, it's good to know that, that you can actually raise the camera a little bit definitely helps, especially in this locomotive. And there, oh, I can even move and stay on the same height. That's really good. Oh well, you learn something new every day. <laughs> Okay, there's three minutes until departure. I just need to stop at this station. Right, and what do we get? Okay, three commercial stops, not bad, not bad, not bad.
That's going to be interesting run. Okay. Yeah, I, I already got my camera saved. And that's that's one of the controls that I know about. Right, let's release the brakes. And let's fix my lights. Oops. So I got only front lights. So, uh, I need left and I need top. There we go. That is set. Right. Uh, let me jump off my locomotive for a bit. We still got over one minute. Wow, that's a nice looking locomotive. And those wagons. <laughs> I'm not sure if they are still in use in Poland. Uh, I've seen them long time ago. Too bad you can't open the doors. Ooh, that's a nice livery. I've never actually seen this one in Poland. Not sure where are they used or where were they used anyway we got about 40 seconds to departure so let's jump back in let's get ready this is going to be interesting so my next stop is at Krabów Miasto where I will have to switch direction Okay, okay. I will have around 15 minutes to do so. Is there any other ones? No. Nope. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not the great, the biggest fan of uh, driving SM42 uh, backwards. It's it's pretty awkward position. Mostly because you can't really see anything. On, on your panel, there is only one panel in this locomotive and then on this side you can only see the alerter which is not bad but not perfect either right we still got red signal so There is no need to depart at the moment. In fact, I can... Uh, which button was it? I think that was this one. Yeah. We still need to wait. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, okay, we got red sick. Well, red, there uh, we got green light. So we can get on the move. Bus mechanic. Oh dear. I'm not much into into buses to be fair. Uh, in fact, I'm absolutely terrible when it comes to like uh, um, motor vehicles. So repairing them will be quite tricky. I know those simulators usually tell you what to do bit by bit. I might give it a shot one day. Why not? Alright, we're on the road. I think my throttle is at its limit. This locomotive is not the fastest engine ever. 
but at least I don't have to worry about neutral zones. Okay, we got red signal on the trial. I think it's gonna be on Chermin Poludnia. Not sure why. Right, let's let it coast. Oh well, at least I'm gonna make a brake test. <laughs> Yep, that's gonna be Chairman Poludnia. Alright, signals are closing really fast. I need to get to feel the brakes. Uh, because it definitely brakes much slower than passenger train. Okay, it's not bad, not bad. Alright, and we are waiting. Oh well, Waiting Simulator 2020. Oh, we are rolling, that's not good, that's not good. Let's apply the brakes. We might in fact apply locomotive brake instead. Okay, that should prevent us from rolling. And we are still waiting. I don't really like to do that, especially that's my next station require me to change direction so the later I'm gonna get there the less time I will have to do all the maneuvering dark in here but the panel is lit up oh well I'm not sure if this model has a lit up version probably not Definitely moving on the right track. Oh, there we go, we got green light.
Alright, let's get this bad boy moving. Hello, Riley. It's rolling really good. <laughs> I'm having quite interesting timetables today. Well, apart from the first one, which was pretty, pretty boring. But this one seems to be a little bit more exciting. And how are you do doing? Oh my goodness me. Right, we are skipping this station. Oh, right, almost forgot. Let's give this guy a thumbs up. There we go, alert is turned off. Crossing up ahead, everything is working fine there. Okay, 87 kilometers per hour, 88, Ooh. we're getting there, we're getting there, and we got 90, in fact I could go slightly faster, it's not that this locomotive will pull much much more, I think 97 was the top speed I've ever had on, on this one. Oh, so you are flying. Is that the new flight sim or some older version? Okay, let's let it coast for a minute so we can lose some speed. We shouldn't be exceeding timetable speed by too much, but providing that I'm already delayed, I'll try and catch up a little bit. X-Plane. Never played that. Is it good? Oh, I'll let her. YouTube notifications. Oh, new speed limit to 60. Let's slow down. Okay. Right on time. Okay, we can now release the brakes. We should be just below 60 when we change the scenery. And probably the speed limit sign will be just behind the loading. We think it's good. Well, that's, that's alright. Well, if you like this game, then, then it's definitely good. Okay, new speed limit 60. Ooh, 
a little bit of a lag. There we go. We managed to connect to the new, new scenery. Again decided to unload the previous one at the same time. Probably that's why the game stutters a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, those speed limit changes uh, on between sceneries are very tricky to manage. Uh, you need to observe those uh, triangular, uh, triangular uh, signs that informs you ahead uh, that the speed limit will change. Uh, and if you don't start to slow down before the end of the scenery, uh, then most likely you'll end up um, crashing right after the scenery changes because then the speed limit will change pretty much immediately. Okay, I need to slow down. Wait, is that something? Oh. Right. Ooh. For a second I almost thought that there is a train on the same track. Right, I'm already delayed a little bit, which is concerning. I will have to do quite fast maneuvers here. But I should make it. I should make it anyway. Worst case scenario, I will be delayed. Not a big deal on police rails, I guess. Okay, 1500 meters until stop signal, I think the platform should be just up ahead. Okay, I think that's the platform, is it? Yeah, that is the platform. Hello, Charix. Oh no, this isn't the platform yet. So where is the platform? 700 meters. Hmm. Where is the platform? 450. Oh, okay. I, I think I can see it. Okay, about six minutes late. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Right, so now 
I need to produce the plate. Oh no, in fact I need to leave the brakes on. Right. Let me prepare the locomotive for maneuvers. Let's jump off. And see. Okay, I can decouple. Uh, right, left light off. Rear on and top light off. Okay, and now I can release the brakes and report that I'm ready. Okay, so this part is done. Strange, there is no signal. Oh. Wait, I don't like how this is switched. I think. I don't think that switch is properly set. Oh, it is. Okay. Huh. Almost got me scared. Right. All right. That got me scared a little bit. the question C2 I don't think it's designed to oh okay I need to go past that signal up ahead all right that's gonna be long run the rails another person that wants to commit suicide <laughs> I already got one a few days ago a guy just decided to stand in front of my locomotive and he got squashed.
Okay, what time I need to leave? I still got five minutes. I should be alright. And there's another guy. There we go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Every time I'm playing SM42, I need to fly around. And every time I have to do it on different station. It's, it's really annoying when you don't know the station. Because, uh, obviously, searching for those dwarf signals is really tough. <laughs> well, I also enjoy playing those games. It's, it's really relaxing. Uh, obviously, especially, oh, especially in Train Driver, where every single time you get something different. Right, I'm, I'm speeding a bit, but that should be okay. Let's try to not get late. Okay, I can already see my signal. Okay, this junction is set and the signal is right here. So I can slowly prepare to stop. There we go. Let's change direction. Okay. All right. Let's now pick up my wagons. I'm gonna be slightly delayed, but well, I arrived delayed, so that should be all right. Still going a bit fast, but I should be okay. Almost there. Oops, uh, wrong button. Okay. Oh, alright, my locomotive got coupled, which is good. Alright, let's set the lights. Uh, let's change the direction. Okay, so I need to turn this off. Uh, I need to turn this on. And this one. Alright, all the lights should be now set. Let me just quickly verify it. There we go. It is all set. Let's now set my camera. Oh, I can carry on. So let's get on the move. Okay, just, just 30 seconds delay, which is 
pretty good. Right. So, before I will get on the road. Oh, that, that's gonna give me a good view. Perfect. That is perfect. Yeah, that's not bad indeed. I was expecting a little bit longer delay. Uh, but this maneuver went pretty smooth. Okay. There we go. Let's give a plus to the Vlad car. Vlad car. Oh, it's from Czech Republic. Good to know. Right, the only thing that I'm missing while traveling in the other direction is speedometer, which is on the other end of, of my cabin. That's That's no good. In fact, if I would stand here, that would probably give me a better view. And all I have to do is to turn around. Oh, okay. Yeah. Speedometer somewhere here on, on this side would be really, really useful. Especially if I would like to... How do you say that? If, especially if I would like to turn off uh, this uh, this helper. Uh, I used to play uh, Euro Truck Simulator. I also used to play um, in multiplayer back when when it was being released so uh, it was much worse than than it is right now uh, but to be fair last time i played euro track simulator it was like two years ago it is really nice game i also got steering wheel and and all that stuff uh, so yeah i can eventually play it the other day it might be really fun I think I also got uh, American Truck Simulator, but uh, I started it perhaps. Uh, perhaps I started it once or twice. Didn't play that much. Uh, no, this game currently doesn't have any uh, any different weather. I can change um, the skybox in in the menu, and it will give me slightly different weather but you won't get any rainfall uh, snowfall or uh, you don't even get uh, night time in this game yet uh, perhaps it will be done and introduced in in one of the patches uh, in the future but right now unfortunately it's not in the game oh there we go I wasn't paying attention to the signs. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Okay, next scenery is loading. Oh, I don't think it's gonna load before end of the map. Uh, since last patch, I'm, I'm getting a lot of those loading screens, even though uh, I visited some of the sceneries that, uh, that we are passing through. I'm not sure why it 
keeps happening, but it does. speed up a little bit, at least for a while. Let's say hello. Come on, wrong button, as always. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, I got entry signal given. Yeah, uh, I heard that the more you play, the less loading screens you get, but for some reason um, I'm getting quite a lot of them, even, even though I've been playing quite a lot uh, in the past few days. I'm not sure why this is happening, uh, perhaps they, they made some changes to, to the game that, that are causing it, uh, because the game is installed on M.2 drive, so like, a slow drive shouldn't be a problem in, in that case. But the loading times can get a little bit long sometimes. Okay, can I make it to slow down to 40? Okay, let's, let's give it a little bit more of that braking power. Oh, there we go, that's 40 speed limit. And I'm going a bit too fast. Can I make it? Oh, just on time. Just on time. <laughs> wow, right on time. <laughs> Okay, it's because of those junctions, I believe. Yeah, the timing was absolutely perfect. Right. A bit delayed, but the platform is just up ahead. As long as this is the right one. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be sketch. Well, I heard that old saying, one minute of delay is not a delay, so... I guess we're alright. That's the platform. Alright, that's the right time to slow down and hopefully stop. Okay. With that short train, we should be alright. One minute of commercial stop in here. Let's jump out of the locomotive. Yeah. Spot on. Perfect. Uh, 
That's a really nice and small station. Right. I guess I need to get on the move. All right, let's get going. Okay, let's give Tomek a thumbs up. We still got 40 kilometers per hour speed limit. So no need to rush just yet. Is that a bridge or a railroad crossing? Oh, that's a bridge. Or is it... Yeah, it is a bridge. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The older I get, the worse my eyes are. <laughs> okay. can now hit it. Right, let's pick up some speed. And let's get back on the right timetable. The next stop is at Sul at 9.02. Okay. We should make it. So I missed a sign here. Mm. Yeah, definitely I missed one. Because there should be a sign informing me that there is going to be a railroad person. Oh well, that's what I get for looking at the chat from time to time. To see if there are any messages. I need to turn my head. Because I'm turning my head away from the road, I keep missing stuff. There we go. Oh, new speed limit, 50. Let's just slow down a bit. Oh, and there's going to be railroad crossing. Good. All right, the speed is okay. Railroad crossing and another loading screen. <laughs> there we go. Right on time. Perfect speed. Almost. Yeah, it is perfect. Okay, I'm at the crossing. And the next station is just up ahead, but we are not stopping here. I have to say that I really like to travel on those old trucks. Uh, that train sounds are really, really good. Because when you travel on those high-speed trucks, you don't get uh, all the sounds that those trains used to give.
Oh yes, the sceneries are absolutely amazing. And the best thing about this game is that people keep making new ones. Over and over again. Okay. We are not stopping here. Oh! <laughs> this patcher has been run over. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's why you are not stepping in front of a train. Okay, and I'm delayed once more. Oh, I just realized that my stop at Seoul is very, very long, so it doesn't really matter if I'm a bit late. Worst case scenario, some of my passengers will be late for, for their buses or, or something, but... Yeah, they should be fine. the crossing oh yeah some some of those routes with uh, with a single track can can be absolutely amazing they they look amazing the problem is that if there are lots of trains going through the same scenery yeah the wait times can can be killers So many notifications from YouTube. Dispatcher got time out, which is not good. Hopefully I won't have to continue on in offline mode. And the other problem is that when the scenery will reload, Oh, all right. We made it. Six hundred forty meters until red signal. Where is that? Don't think that's this TN signal. Oh, there it is. I can see it. And there's a platform. Oh, 
that's better. From Skiesh. Uh, I don't think I got Skiesh on my list. Yeah, I, I don't have Skiesh on my list. There's only Kociszew, Kozorków. Uh, we've already passed Skiesh, so... Oh, alright, so that's what you meant. Uh, never mind. <laughs> alright, so I can release that brake, I can apply locomotive brake. Uh, and now we got quite a bit of time to wait, so let's take a short break, let's have a look at this scenery. I can't leave the station before half past nine, unfortunately, because it's a commercial stop. So, let's have a look around. Oh, just look at this beauty. There we go. Oh, look, we got some passengers. Woohoo. I wonder if there is anyone in in top floor. I don't think there is any high enough spot to, to have a look through the windows. I can't see anyone. Oh no, I think there is someone. Yeah, that looks like a person. Okay, so, so people are also sitting in top comp compartments. That's nice. That is really, really nice. That's a blind truck. I really like how some sceneries are made. This one is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. some, sort, some sort of holiday center, but it looks bit abandoned. <laughs> well, jumping doesn't cut the deal, to be fair. Because I can't jump high enough. We need to find a station with, like, an overpass. Uh, there are a few of them. Unfortunately, that's not one of them. Okay, I think it's safe to cross now. Let's see what's on the other side. A forest. And that's it? No town? Nothing? Oh, there is a small village. doing here it looks like a lumber mill but why would they have so much coal hmm, interesting <laughs> nah I, I don't think I, I will be able to pull out a gun Not in this game. But it's been years since I've been playing Quake. Wow. 
I know there is that online version. Uh, how was it called? Like Quake Online or, or was it Quake 2? I think Quake 2 got remastered recently, isn't it? I'm really not following those uh, FPS games. One's turned on. Okay, this one. Hmm. Private property. There we go. Oh, all right. That's this. Uh, this small. Holiday Center. Mm -hmm. More wood. I'm not sure. If, does people really need entire... Like... Wow. It's like entire freaking tree. Does people really need that much wood for winter? Oh well. Oh, there we go. That's some sort of construction site. Not sure what they are doing here. Oh, some empty wagons. With some nice artwork. nice. I really like this attention to details that uh, that people are just leaving the wagons. I'm, I'm not sure if, if that's with if that comes um, comes in from from the scenery itself or is that uh, because there is a dispatcher logged in and, and that is spawning the wagons or he was spawning the wagons. I'm not sure how it works because when I whenever I play in single player, the, there is just a few sceneries that actually have anything on the sidings and, and stuff. Uh, so I'm not sure how it works. But it's really nice to see that um, sidings are not completely empty if there are no players. That's, that's really nice attention to detail. Oh, oh, unfortunately it's not a physical object. Too bad. Oh well, you can't get everything, isn't it? Oh, there's more! A field! Woohoo! And more, more, more houses. Somebody really put a lot of work into into building that, even though you see it, well, you usually see it from far away, from the tracks. Uh, in many cases, you, you even don't see it, in fact. That's really nice that people are actually building the um, rest of the scenery, instead of just things that's, that will be right next to the tracks. So I guess it's time to get back to our locomotive. We still got 15 minutes until departure. So I guess that's a good time to take a very, very short break. So what I'm gonna do, I will jump back into my cabin. And I will leave you with some nice Christmas themed music for next 10 minutes. Enjoy.
Alright, I'm back. We got four minutes until departure. I hope you enjoyed the music. I hope it wasn't too loud uh, or too silent. And well, thank you very much everyone for tuning in. I hope this Christmas stream is nice and relaxing. I hope you enjoy watching it. We are definitely going to take another route and this time I think I'm gonna take EN57 which I planned to take before SM42. Also if, if you are watching and you haven't subscribed yet make sure to do so it's, it's really helping my channel and definitely keeps me motivated to, to create more and more interesting content for you. Anyway, two minutes until departure. We already got a signal for us. Is it? Hmm. Doesn't look like. But there's still showing red for some reason. Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, one of them changed, but the game feed still shows me it's red for some weird reason. Not sure why. That's interesting. Okay, 40 seconds. Alright, I can do this side. What is that? Is that... Uh that train frontier is is that some sort of a game no, i've never heard about it before Could you give a little bit more details right anyway we can depart there we go oh okay 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 I think I know why uh, this helper was reading that uh, there is a signal, that there is S1 signal 130 meters in front of me. Probably it was reading from the back of my train because wagons were trying to pull me towards the other side and that's why, that's why it got me confused. That's interesting. Anyway, we're back on the track. And next stop is Ozorkov Nova. Is it? No, we are skipping that. Ozorkov. Okay. Right, let's give Deshi a 
thumbs up. There we go. Oh, alert her again. Uh, I need to pay attention to that a little bit more. Oh, okay, we need to slow down. Unfortunately, next railroad crossing is not on. So, according to the rules, we should cross it at speed no greater than 20 kilometers per hour. That's interesting. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. I got better view from this window. I need to be on a lookout for, for that crossing. Should be somewhere up ahead. Come on, Aleppo. Not now. too fast, which I will have to slow down before this railroad crossing. Oh, there it is. Oh, we are going uphill. Again, alert her. There we go. Okay. Now I can speed up. For some reason, F9 doesn't work. Ah, that's sad. No, it's not working. Ah, oh, too bad. I, I can't turn off the hat. Oh well. Oh, there's a letter. There we go. And the new scenery is loading. Fantastic. Sulti Chora. Good 
we are not stopping here. I knew I missed one sign. <laughs> oh well. It is just a chill play. So Today we can take some of the rules a little bit easier. Oh, another alert there. And unfortunately, new scenery failed to load before before I reached the end of this one, sadly. And I'm sure I visited Ozorkov uh, already. Oh, there we go. It's loaded now. And there's a new speed limit. Okay, we can now push it a little bit harder. Okay. Let's say hello. Okay. Our route goes really, really smooth today. I'm really glad to see that. It's nice and nice and slow. We get pretty nice sceneries as well. Oh, okay. I, I'm speeding a bit. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's let's slow down. like we are going downhill yeah we are definitely going downhill mm -hmm. one fantastic and the next signal will be red. S1. I can start slow down. Good. Oh, okay, it changed. Perfect. We still got a bit... Yeah, we need to go through two stations before I reach my final destination. There we go. Ooh, nice. Another train. EN fifty seven. Oh, okay, so the guy is letting me pass first. I'm not sure if that's the best idea. Depending on how long this EN57 has to wait on this station. Might be better to let him first, because I'm much slower. On the other hand, I think there is a speed limit of 70 in here. Hmm. 
Interesting. Yeah, we should be alright. Wrong button again. <laughs> Instead of releasing the throttle, I, I was trying to add some more, which is not good. Thankfully, thankfully this train has a lot of delay between adding a throttle and actual speed up. There we go. Alert. We're doing great. There is stop up, up ahead. I think that's going to be Orzorkov. Nowe miasto. Okay, signals at the crossing are working. That's very good. Oh, come on. How many alerters there is? going downhill. It's about time to start slowing down. Yes, Azorkov Nowe Miasto. So the next station is our stop. After we reach our final destination, I'm gonna swap to a different train so we can end here. Okay, and now the new speed limit will be 40 kilometers per hour. Oh, we are going downhill. Still. Okay, the tracks will take me ahead. Oh, no, I'm gonna go to the left track. There we go. And that's our platform. Not bad, not bad. Uh, 30 seconds late. So I guess that's not a delay at all. <laughs> Let's make a good stop in here. Wow, this is a long platform. Okay, we can start slowing down. Platform 2. Oh yeah, let's, let's give him a thumbs up. Uh, 
And... Come on, stop already. There we go, we are stopped. Right, let's jump off for a second. We won't be wandering around for too long. Ooh, that's a nice view. Unfortunately, F9 button has bugged, so I will have... Uh, I will have a uh, user interface on, on the screenshot. Ah, oh, but it's really nice. Right, let's jump back. Right, so we can now leave and let's change to a different consist. There we go. Back to the menu. Ooh. Ouch. Right. So, let's get back to driver mode and let's swap our engine. So, what we should take? We are going to take EN57, or perhaps should I take EN71? What do you guys think? Any thoughts? Hmm. Which one should I take? Perhaps this one? Let's see how it looks. Oh, it has this livery. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Right, let's let's have a look what we got here. Wow, there's so many of them. Hmm. That's EN71. Oh dear, those decisions are so hard. Which one should I take? Guys, help. Or perhaps should I take the longer version? With two of them. Kill or call run? Hmm. Well... That might be an idea, but I won't be able to take EN57 with that. Hmm. That would be ET41 or EU07 then. All right. So, uh, which one would that be? Hmm. Right, let's take EU07. Where's that livery of... Yeah, there it is. Uh, pick up a cargo. Right. And now something that could carry steel. Uh, was that rest? Yeah, I think those were one of those platforms. Not sure if that's them ones. No, those are container ones. So that's the other ones. So these ones, uh, perhaps let's take like six of those. Is that, ah, containers. No, 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 no. We don't want containers. I Perhaps rails would be good. Is that... No, that's containers again. Oh dear, which ones are there? No, that's not this one. Ah, there we go. So, if we could take some... cables for this one. Let's 
take another view with rails. A bit of a steel. Wait, these are SGMRS. Oh, that's them. Okay, let's take some rails, perhaps. Hmm. Eight wagons with rails. Oh, that's okay. Wood. Hmm. To be fair, I, I never took wood. Uh, so that's, that's, that's an idea. Or what I could take. Wait, is there? Hmm. No, those are containers. I don't need containers. Uh, what there is? There is wood one and wood two. Um, that's a good question. Which one is which? Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so let's take wood. Um, so let's say seven of those, 436 meters, 913 tons. So I think we can take one more set. Hmm, uh, again, too far away. And let's take the brown ones. Let's take uh, like five of those with wood zero one. Oh, it's pretty light. Wood zero two. I'm not sure how to how to set up two diesels. Um, to be fair, I I know how to put one diesel, uh, but that might be pretty heavy. Well, that's not going to be too heavy for SM forty two. In fact. Uh, but yeah, there's no diesels that I can pair. Does anyone know how to how to put two diesels? Not really. There's not that many diesel locomotives in this game. Uh, so I guess I can either take ET41, which is pretty much two EU07s connected together. Well, not exactly, because this is a different model of locomotive, but it's pretty much based on two EU-07s. Or I can take EU-07 on its own. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay with EU-07. Perhaps I will change the livery a little bit. Hopefully it will have this color. A little bit washed out. Okay, okay. So that's going to be good. Uh, what else? We got 1134 tons. Okay, that sounds good. So, this is going to be EU07. Uh, that's going to be 536 meters, which is almost at the limit. I think 650 is the longest train you can take. Um... That's 1134 tons. And that's going to be freight. Uh, what was the speed limit? I think it was 80 kilometers per hour. There we go. We can copy that. Uh, yeah, weight limit for EU07 is, is about 2,000. Oh, I see. So so there is a problem with braking when you get two locomotives. Okay. So this this idea is, is uh, right now not, not a good. Uh, right. Do we want to do cold start? Uh, what do you think, guys? Should we do a cold start and and get through starting procedure? Uh, 
Oh wow, the stream must have really, really long delay. Which is not good. I haven't set any, but for the future I will try to reduce the delay. Because your answers are coming very, very late. Right, so do we want a cold start or not? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Okay, let's do it. It's it's gonna be fun. Uh, let's name it. Uh, cold start, uh, so that we can let the dispatcher know that we are not ready to depart right away. Okay, let's copy that. Let's confirm. Right, so, uh, Borova. I think that's gonna be... Oh, we can start at Orniki. At Drzewko. Or at Aleksandrov Kujawski. Hmm. Right, where should we start? Let's go to Borova. Uh, there is most experienced dispatcher there, so perhaps we will get some good timetables from him. So let's get in. Oh dear, the game has really long loading times. Or perhaps it's because I'm I'm playing for quite long. Right, let's say hello. Make sure that I'm typing. There we go. Right, so now we can begin to start this bad boy. So, we need to turn the main, the master switch. Let's raise both pantographs. Come on. Oh wow, it's taking forever. Hmm. For some reason it's not working. This is bad. Oh, okay. I know why it's not working. Oh dear, I'm, I'm silly. I forgot that I need to put the reverser on. Is it? Or is this not working? Well, it doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Any ideas why? Battery. You know what? I might have. Oh, all right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, thanks for that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Come on, you. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's been so long since I actually started the locomotive cold that I completely forgot the right procedure to do so. Right, so now we should be able to raise... I did provide the train analysis, but I forgot to change... Uh, that's settings, game, and let's add one number, save. Right. There we go. Yeah. Uh, I need to remember about the reverser. Right, so we got power. We can turn on the converter. And it's not working. Let's unlock it. 
Why it's not working? That's a good question. Hmm. I forgot about something. I'm sure about it. Yeah, exactly. Right, for some reason, converter doesn't work. Something doesn't work. What did I forget? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, I got both pantographs, so we are taking power. I don't think I need reverser. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it! We got it, boys! <laughs> okay, compressor! Let's bring some light. Let's turn that on. That's good. Reverser. Oh, um, I need this light. Okay. Let's set my cabin. Okay, I should now be ready to reverse. Oh, forgot to release the brakes. There we go. Just a bit more. Okay, I'm connected with the wagons. So now I can couple them. Okay. Now I can release the brakes. Set the reverser. Okay. Huh. I made it. And just right on time because my timetable arrived. So I can now make sure that all the lights are switched as they should. Beautiful. Okay, the camera is saved. Let's just jump out of the train. Head to the rear. And have a look if end signals are put on. I'm not sure if, if they do by default. In many cases they they probably do but if they don't I can fix it oh dear that's a very long train okay I still got some time all right so that's not super long timetable but there is a technical stop on Borova Podgurne and then, oh my goodness me. Oh, over 20 minutes of a technical stop with fly around at Arkadias Durui. Okay, okay, that's gonna be interesting. And signals are on, which is good. Okay, so let's jump into the cabin. Uh, in fact, I could set this camera as I'm still waiting. Oh dear. Right, I'm not happy about this livery. I just realized that I'm using PKP Intercity livery. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Uh, never seen uh, those operating with. Uh, with a freight train, but well, 
I guess nobody will be mad at me. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's a shame. I should have stayed with, with the previous one. At least I was sure that it was pick up a cargo. <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's see if I can turn the hood off. No, I can't, unfortunately. Still doesn't work for some reason. Oh well. Let's focus on the roads. Let's see what's there. Oh, I can reduce the brightness of the lights. Mm. Right. L better let's not touch anything. <laughs> right. Brakes are released. And we can now wait two minutes until departure. Let's not break anything. And we should be very, very good to go. So, we should get to Borov to Arkadia Zdroi within 30 minutes. Then we will change direction. And then we can head to Karszynek. Okay, not bad. One hour, twenty minutes. That's how long it should take us to, to get through this route. Uh, the main pipe is already released. Oh, there we go. We can now get on the move. Oh yeah, I can actually feel that this is pretty heavy. In fact, yeah, I need to make sure that I set my brakes correctly. Almost forgot about it. There we go. We're on the move. I have to admit that this locomotive is doing pretty well with that cargo. Oh, I almost forgot. A front pantograph. <laughs> okay, 32 kilometers per hour. It's gonna take some time before we enter that 60 kilometers per hour zone. Okay, alerts are off. I can in fact pull the camera out a little bit. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, let's give Peter thumbs up. Okay, we can now give it a bit more juice. It's gonna take a while before I reach 60 kilometers per hour.
There we go. Okay, it is working. Still 60 kilometers per hour. That's really nice. I think there should be a neutral zone somewhere here. Oh, there it is. I can already see the signs. Yep, that's a neutral zone. Okay, we should be good to speed up again. I think, yeah, shunt control works this time. I'm not sure why it stopped working last time. I've, I've been moving, but at least this time. It is working as, as it should. Oh, that was a large jump. Okay, I got 60 kilometers speed limit here. There is no need to rush. It is perfect. Oh well, looks like we're gonna have another nice and smooth ride today. If I remember correctly, if you hold it, if you hold shift and, and press plus and minus, you can quickly add and, and release the throttle, like that for example. But uh, it, it doesn't move to the next position, it moves all the way. Or perhaps, wait, yeah, it moves all the way. Let it go. Alerter. That's gonna be really nice and relaxing right? I'm telling you guys. Right, let's get to this position. 
seems to work best for me. There we go, that should hold our speed. Oh yeah, I've seen the new Deray Valley update and I'm I'm really looking forward to, to give it a go. I'm not sure when, uh, but I will definitely find some time, uh, hopefully this Christmas, to, to jump in for a while and, and have a look how how the valley looks uh, in the winter. Uh, because it's it's really interesting how it's working and and if if they change something to the physics as well. Because technically, well. Um, icy rails might be another issue that that you could face in the valley i'm not sure if, if they introduced any any sort of physics like that but i really look forward to to give it a go right anyway i don't have a clear route and slowing down from 60 it's gonna take a while especially with a freight train so it's better to start slowing down right about now the brakes in freight trains doesn't work as fast as they do in passenger trains. Okay, I got technical stuff in here. Yeah, it's, it's wise to start slowing down really fast. Ooh. Yikes. Come on, stop! Stop! Uh. Oh! I will overshoot. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, let's release the brakes. It's gonna take a while before they release. Okay, let's let's reverse and let's act that you haven't seen this. <laughs> It's gonna take a while before I release the brakes. I really need to learn how to how to use uh, brakes while driving a freight train because it's definitely much harder than than while traveling with passenger train okay let's just give it a little bit of a push so I can get back behind the semaphore oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear, oh dear. that's a massive failure Right, how far is this semaphore? It should be right here. There we go. Oh, it's green now. Fantastic. Oh, I see. Well, I'm, I'm not exactly sure about the procedures here, but yeah, I, I really failed uh, on this one. Right, anyway. Uh, I got green light, so... I guess we can go. 
But it's good to know. Next time I will first ask uh, dispatcher if, if I actually can continue or if I should just reverse. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That was massive failure. Oh. Okay. Ho hopefully nobody seen that. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'm gonna get a complaint uh, for for this maneuver. It, it wasn't safe, so. Uh, or perhaps nobody noticed. All right, I'll, I'll try to do it much better. Yeah, so hopefully this person, who is that? Peter will let it slide. Right, anyway, we are on the move again. So we should be safe now. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I think I've been spotted. <laughs> Oh well, lesson for the future. Oh, okay, so that might have been different train that got spotted on something. Anyway, we are almost at the end of this scenery, from what I remember. I've been traveling on this road quite a few times. Yeah, there we go. Almost there. Oh wow, and there is still six people watching. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. Hello to everyone who joins. Oh, there we go, the new train just arrived. Okay, I can now slow down a bit. Okay, that should give me the right speed. And yeah, the new scenery won't load before I reach the end, so we will get a loading screen. There we go. Yeah, I, I did try some of those single-player scenarios. The, the problem with them is that basically uh, you got all green lights uh, all the way. Uh, so 
you don't really do much of a practice when it's uh, when it comes to stopping at uh, S1 signals and, and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I know that it it will give me a little bit of a feel of a brakes, uh, but that comes with the practice, I guess. I think I can speed up to 80. There we go. Uh, well, I, I won't be starting conversation about which games are better. Uh, the game games are as good as as people as much people like them so there are some good console games and there are some bad console games uh, same as there are some good pc games and some bad ones uh, so some people will like uh, pc games over console games some people will like console games over pc games it it differs from person to person but uh, really, I, I, I'm not sure if we should start a conversation about which platform is, uh, is better. Okay. I definitely need to break harder. Perfect. Ooh, it takes a while before I release the brakes. Okay, let's add some throttle. Okay, we got it, we got it. Maybe not the perfect... ...maneuver. But it was much better than, than my S1 stop. From a minute ago. Okay, now I can pull to the next one. Which should be just 700 meters away. I can already see it. With that speed, I should be pretty safe. Okay, 500 meters. I'm not sure if this siding is long enough for my train, to be fair. It might be just long enough, so a perfect stop would be definitely much appreciated. Okay. Fighting that the brakes take some time before they initiate. That should be good distance. Okay, we are slowing down, perhaps a bit too fast. Hmm. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right. Uh, thankfully, this patcher set a route for us before we manage to bring the train to a full stop so we can carry on 
So, I think that's Krzemienice. We are just on time. Which is very good. But yeah, I, I'm not sure if my train would actually fit in here. Can't see the end of it. get to non-resistant position so I won't burn the resistors there we go okay that wasn't good for some reason Oh. Okay. Okay. Oops. That's no good. Right. So the question is... Where is... Hmm. Okay, any question? The black one release. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, the compressor is back on. The question is... Why did it broke? I haven't seen a neutral zone in here. Or perhaps I just missed it. Or perhaps the train started to slow down and I didn't notice that. Oh, almost forgot. Yeah, I, I probably didn't notice that uh, a meter is, is going up. to pay more attention to this oh dear oh dear oh dear every time every time okay so I missed it well I'm at least glad that I haven't derailed it, it would be even worse uh, because from what I know that uh, you can actually derail on this one Yeah, I haven't seen the, the neutral zone sign, but it could have been too much power. Uh, I will really need to have a look at, uh, at the replay of the stream later on, but honestly, I, I was absolutely sure that everything is fine. Yeah, I, I was driving like that, and, and basically everything just shut off. Okay, okay. That was probably neutral zone without a sign. Or the sign was in a wrong place, like uh, like Ryleaf said. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, so I catch some delay in here, which is not good. Give it a bit more juice. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, anyway. 
every single time I take freight train, I have to fail on something. Literally, I had not a single trip using freight train. Yeah, so I... Thanks, Rayleigh. So, well, that's the first time it happens to me, but there are some sceneries where this sign is very easy to miss. Oh well, thankfully it's, it ended just with a uh, minor failure. It could have been worse. Right, anyway. Give it a bit more juice. No more failures. No more. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Every single time. Uh, I remember last time everything went smooth for quite a long time. And then, instead of my failure, it was some guy who decided to decouple my wagons, which I didn't notice. And I almost left them uh, at, at one of the stations. So, uh, it caused further delay. And when I finally fixed it, I was too busy to uh, report that to uh, dispatcher. And I did pretty much the same. I started to type, turned off my uh, turned off my locomotive just in front of a neutral zone. So when I entered a neutral zone, it happened I was climbing uphill and I had like 15 kilometers per hour so I just barely made it through with a freight train <laughs> oh dear the other day uh, probably you've seen the recording of it uh, on Chernin I had to do a uh, fly around and after I finished it I couldn't move so yeah pretty much every single time I have to, or I'm trying to take freight train, something bad happens. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, uh, I think we are approaching Arcadia's Druid, where I will have to do fly around. 1500 meters away. I can let it coast for now I should easily get to my destination oh okay signals have changed oh yeah it definitely makes it interesting but I really wish to have one good trip while while driving freight train so far that's that's the biggest challenge for me i'm not going to lie the other big challenge is that rail bus i i really suck at it really it's Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh well, it wouldn't be fun stream if, if there wouldn't be some failures, I guess. So, hopefully it will lighten up the atmosphere. <laughs> right, I'm doing 60 kilometers per hour. Okay, next signal is stop signal. I can let it coast now. And I should have just enough of a distance to slow down. Hmm. I hope it's not too early. Oh, there we go. That's another neutral zone.
Well, at least this time I spotted the sign. <laughs> Okay, I can already see the signal. Oh wow, those brakes are really delicate. Right, I better slow down really fast. Okay. A bit too soon. Okay, I got good to go signal. But it's gonna take a while before I release the brakes. Okay, we should be good to go. I'm at the platform, so I don't think I should use the sound signal. So let's just get on moving. Not sure if this guy even has siding long enough prepared for me because I got pretty long train. There should be something on Arcadia Strui. But I'm not sure if this one will be long enough. My train is 520 meters long and the stop signal is 300 meters away. I'm not sure how am I supposed to do fly around. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. Okay. Let's try. try and pull this train as far as I can. Okay, it's time to start braking. Oh, the brake pipe fills in really slow. Okay. All right, I'm stopped 40 meters in front of the signal, but there is no chance. Nope, my compressor is turned on. Ah, but the brakes are not releasing in fact. Why is that? Let's try it again. Oh, okay. I guess it just needed a restart.
I can try and pull it a bit more, but there is no chance that my train will fully fit in here. I don't think it's gonna fit. Even if I... Oh, I might in fact... Well, one meter. Okay, so I guess I managed to fully fit. Let's try and decouple my wagons. Uh, in fact, wait, let's couple it first. And let's initiate train brake. So that I can. Yeah. Let's initiate the train brake first. There we go. That's gonna be better. Let's release the brakes now. Yeah. And see the signal? Okay, I got clear signal, fantastic. Right, for maneuvering I need this one. And this one. Okay, we can now go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I really need to work on that. <laughs> In fact, I could raise the pantograph. gonna be traveling very slow oh there's a rail bus but why is it going back with red lights on oh okay the guy was switching the lights <laughs> yeah almost perfect Okay. Oh. Should I? Oh, okay. Yeah. I should continue here and probably I will switch there on this signal. Right, right. Close. Right. Uh, I need this one. Uh, I can in fact leave this one as, as it is. Let's just switch the cabin. There we go. Okay, junction is set. And I think I got the right signal already. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What a failure. Eh, okay, signal is set. So I can now... There we go, we are moving! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That was far from perfect. I'm surprised that... 
I haven't blocked that signal in the junction. I stopped a little bit too early. But we're getting there. Right, I still got a couple of minutes. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Speed up a little bit. Okay, that should be good. Am I on the same track? I think I might be. Right. Why? Why did he send me on the same track as another train if he had another siding? That is interesting. That is very, very interesting. Okay, he was expecting the guy to, to actually... ...log off a little bit sooner, I guess. But it still shouldn't happen. Thankfully I was just maneuvering, so I wasn't moving at like a high speed. But if I would be at full swing, there's no chance I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah. Well, at least it's getting interesting right now. Uh, right at, at, well, right as we are approaching the end of the stream. Oh dear. up between those two dwarf signals. That should be good. Right, uh, let me just switch the lights. And release the brakes. Okay, it should be good now. Is that, is that the right signal? Doesn't look like it is. Oh no, it's, it's not the right signal. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Ah. Oh 
Oh my goodness me. I'm making so much mistakes. Yeah, that's the dwarf signal that I'm about to reach. Oh gosh. Yikes. Right. And that should be good now. Now we should be moving. Okay, let's quickly change it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There we go. Okay, that's good now. Ah, <sighs> every single time. I wonder how many failures I will have in this, in this round. There's still two stations to go. <laughs> There's still plenty of room for other fails. Nah, hopefully there will be nothing else. Nothing else, please. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Wow, I'm actually surprised that this train managed to fit in here. Right, let's slow down a bit. Okay, just a touch more. There we go. And we got a touchdown. There we go. Let's push the train. Well, let's push the locomotive against the train. That's good, we can jump off. Okay, we are now coupled. Let's release the throttle. Release the brakes. Okay. Neutral. And turn this off. That can be turned off. That can be turned off. Oh, why was it even turned on? Oh, okay. Wrong buttons. Right, so this can be sorted. Okay, I think that's good can jump into this cabin, set my lights, turn this on, oh, let's set this, okay, I'm not sure if I should go through the whole procedure while changing cabins, I don't think I do. Okay, and if I will now... Oh, okay, this is gonna lower both of them, so I might as well change the cabin fully. So... Uh, master switch, there we go. There we go. There we go. Right, this is working. I still got... Oh, five minutes. Right, plenty of time. That is plenty of time to do whatever I have to do. Right, 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 right. Let's set the camera. Uh, that should be good. I can see the signal. Alright, so uh, during this trip some mistakes were made. Some mistakes were made by me. Some mistakes were made by 
uh, are dispatchers so it's really fun and interesting ride uh, not the safest one I'm not going to lie uh, but we managed to safely get into our destination I think well it wasn't terribly bad and there's still a couple of kilometers to go right oh yeah last thing is to check the end signals right Oh my goodness me. I keep forgetting about everything. did I took so long train where's the end there it is okay we got them and signals are on fantastic right so now we need to wait Two more minutes and we should be good to go. Right. Let's make sure that all the brakes are released. And hopefully we will be able to get on the move without any issues. Once more my coffee got cold. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, there is another train approaching. That's SM42 with coal. Hmm. Oh no, it's empty. At first I thought he has a load of coal. That's nice. Ah, so that means I'm gonna be delayed. I probably have to go across this siding. Not too big of a deal, I'm not going to lie. It's a freight train. I don't have that strict timetable. If I gotta be delayed, I will be delayed. Still nothing is happening. Uh, 
dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> well, I, I guess I'm not the only one. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, don't tell me the guy was waiting for me to be ready. Right. Okay, we are moving. The guy was actually continuing instead of just stopping when he passed the signal. That's not nice, that's not nice. Right, I think it's a good time to lower the pantograph. Uh, the guy got kicked from from the server. And uh, the reason why I haven't used a horn uh, this time while setting up is uh, because I was standing on the platform and because there was no actual railway crossing behind it. Uh, I didn't have to use uh, the horn signal. It's basically best to not use the horn signal while you are on the platform. Right. Anyway, we can now speed up. We pass the neutral zone. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, my timetable speed is 80. It's gonna take a while before I reach that speed. Oops. I can give this guy a thumbs up, even though Ooh, someone's spinning. <laughs> uh, yeah, people tend to pass red signals quite a lot. Um, there's not much 
that can be done. Uh, obviously, if if they just pass it while slowing down and uh, overshoot a little bit, it's well, it's just a matter of practice. But if they are speeding up quite significantly and, and they keep passing red signals, this is a huge problem. Okay, 72, RP1, there we go, we're doing good, and we are actually right on time, that's spot on. Okay, uh, now all that's left is to get to Karshinek, which should take us about 8 minutes, and that's it, we're done. <laughs> There's still plenty of space for failure, but I will do my best to get us safe to where we have to get. Okay, new scenery is loading. Oh, I'm actually going a bit too fast. But if I could... Hmm. Okay, let's just let it coast. No need to rush. Uh, I think I just went through Alexandrov Kuyavsky. Uh, that was the last station I, I passed through, isn't it? So this one should technically be Karshinek. Or is it a separate scenery? I'm not sure now. <laughs> okay, I'm reconnecting to new scenery. Oh, okay. So it's just unlisted here. I see. Oops. Come on. Okay. The route is set. So I actually don't have to slow down. I wonder why, why it wasn't listed on my timetable that I'm gonna pass um, through uh, Virai. It should have been listed, isn't it? Anyway, the next signal will be stopped. Oh, and there is neutral zone. So it's actually good that I release the throttle. Okay, now I can start slowing down. In fact, let's break a bit harder than usual. 
Huh. Or uh, it was a manually created timetable. Uh, that's the only explanation I can see. Ooh. Oops. Yikes. Oh my goodness me, I'm gonna overshoot again. Uh... Right, anyway, I need to figure out how to unbrake. Uh, I think that was the proper procedure to unbrake it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, come on. red button on the radio will turn on radio stop once more. I'm not sure if I should just press it. Yikes. Oh my goodness me. Right. Please tell me it's gonna work now. Nope. Come on! Yeah, it doesn't like let me release the brakes. And I'm not sure if I should press the red button on, on the radio, because it might turn on radio stop. Hmm. Perhaps what I could do... Ay, 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 that, that radio stop actually messed up a lot.
Oh dear. Oh dear, I, I guess I will have to keep holding that button for a quite long time. But it doesn't seem to be charging the main pipe. Yeah. Right, let's try recovery. Oh dear, still doesn't seem to work. Oh, come on! Don't do it to me! Right. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, I, I think I will have to retire because it doesn't let me release the brakes after radio stop, which is pretty bad. Ah. Uh, Okay, red button. Oh, come on, don't tell me it's, it's gonna work. It is working, and I was afraid it's gonna... Right. Oh. Right. out okay so I can okay so I have to go forward oh dear oh dear oh dear okay so now I have got confirmation that it won't start radio radio stop
Oh, okay. Uh, see that? That's the experience because on on many locomotives, when you just press the uh, the red button, it it's, it actually may turn on the radio stuff. From what I remember, that's why I never tried to to use it. I know that F7 is also working. Uh, but I didn't realize that pressing the red button will actually release my brake. Oh, thanks guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, that That's why I'm always scared to, to actually use this button. Uh, the only method that I actually knew how to release the brakes after radio stop was uh, double press the space bar and then uh, release the brakes which was I think shown on uh, on one of the videos uh, from from the team uh, can't remember uh, the train driver uh, channel if I remember correctly uh, but I, I didn't knew that uh, pressing the red button is actually going to, to fix it oh well <laughs> As I said, there is still a lot of space for failure. Uh, I nearly crashed into another train, which which is not the perfect um, way to to fail. I'm not going to lie, uh, but I definitely need to brake a little bit harder in, in freight trains. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! So much failures for one trip. Uh, oh my goodness me. Right. I'm supposed to go fast, not 40 kilometers per hour. That's definitely... Well, harder or not, uh, I definitely need to work harder on them. Uh, my technique is pretty bad with, with those trains. Right, definitely Catlex deserves that thumbs up. Uh, but yeah, my driving was a complete failure on this station. I'm not going to lie. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, let's get to Karszynek. And this time, let's do it right. I got 10 minutes delay. I caused delay for multiple trains on, on this scenery. Nothing to be proud of. Uh, but at least... Uh, at least we didn't crash. Oh. oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, just on time. <laughs> right. 
right let's let's bring this train to a stop in a safe and organized manner oh dear oh dear oh dear I would really get fired for this trip <laughs> oh dear Break a bit harder so that I can slow down on time. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. People are subscribing to my channel right now. But why am I not getting notifications on the screen? Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. I think I slowed down too hard. Yeah, that was way too hard braking. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, thankfully it's only a game, but I definitely failed a lot. Uh, a way too much, I'm not going to lie. Um, but this shows that I need a lot of practice with uh, freight train. Um, especially uh, with operating brakes on those, because they they work much slower, uh, they are uh, much harder to, to get the feel of them. And even if the train is operating at uh, slower speed, I'm absolutely terrible with them. But I'm gonna get there, sooner or later. Hopefully before I get banned. Come on, come on. Just a bit faster. There we go just need to pull this train up until the signal oh dear oh dear oh dear right we managed to to make it to Karsinek which is very good but we managed to nearly crash as well oh yeah it's definitely better to be too late uh, that's for sure right I can surely start slowing down Okay, hopefully my entire train managed to fit into this siding. Right.
right uh, let's give golf boy a thumbs up and that's it right we made it we made it okay so i think that is going to be it for today's video it was very well it started very slow it started uneventful um pretty much first uh it started very very slow it started very calm uh the routes were pretty nice uh, i'm not going to lie uh without any failures it was rather boring in fact uh but it got much much more interesting as soon as i got into freight train uh, the problem with me and freight trains is that well as you can see my stopping accuracy is absolutely terrible and it nearly caused an accident so i'm not gonna be surprised to see uh, a complaint uh, written on the forums uh, well it wasn't the best ride i should have uh, played with uh, freight trains a little bit more in a single player uh, so definitely during next stream i'm not going to try once more with anything heavy uh, but if the next stream is going to happen and i think it will uh, it, it looks like people like to watch it so i'm, I'm glad to see that uh, that there was constantly five to seven people watching uh, so definitely i will try to make another stream but this time uh, I will focus mostly on something easier, something that won't cause a massive accident on the on the tracks. And in the meantime, I will take some training and, and practice on on the freight trains uh, because definitely uh, we we can't have it on on PL1 server to 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 cause a massive accidents. Uh, definitely, I don't want to be a reason of such. Anyway, uh, guys, if you if you are uh, if you enjoyed uh, this uh, this stream, uh, then give it a thumbs up. Uh, I I can already see there is about twenty people or even more that uh, that gave it a thumbs up. Yeah, twenty people. Wow, so many. Uh, obviously, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm I'm really happy to to see more of you uh, in in this small community. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna get bigger. And finally, well, don't forget to, to jump in on my Discord server. Uh, link is in the description down below the video. Uh, we can have a chat in there about my, uh, my failures, my successes. We can discuss various things about the game. Uh, so that's also a good place to, to find me. And finally, well, don't forget to share this video with your friends uh, it's going to be published really soon as soon as youtube will finish uh, processing it and then well i see you next time bye bye